cours d'anglais. The phrasal verbs. The phrasal verbs. Alors, phrasal verbs. La définition en français. Le phrasal verb est employé pour désigner le verbe composé ou le verbe à particules en français. En termes simples, il s'agit d'un verbe suivi d'une particule qui change le sens du verbe. Généralité. Phrasal verbs sont composés d'un verbe et d'une particule. Si le complément en est un pronom, ce dernier se place entre le verbe et la particule. Alors, phrasal verbs. Phrasal verb égale verb plus particle. Exemple. Regardez cette phrase. Can you pick up this sheet? Can you pick up this sheet? Qui veut dire, bien sûr, en français, peux-tu ramasser ce drap? Donc, le phrasal verb est là. Pick up, pick up. La même phrase pourra bien sûr être Can you pick it up? Can you pick it up? Can you pick it up? Peux-tu le ramasser? Alors, the particle looks like a preposition, but it doesn't function as a preposition. Another example. He woke up at half past 6 a.m. Ou bien, he woke up at 6.30 a.m. Donc, up looks like a preposition, but it doesn't function as a preposition. Another example. Strangers, strangers, walk him up. Strangers, walk him up. Donc, le verbe ici, c'est to wake up. À l'infinitif, c'est to wake up. Particles are parts of the verb phrase, and they often change the meaning of the verb. Particles are part of the verb phrase, and they often change the meaning of the verb. On a ici deux phrases. On a He looked up at the skyscraper. Donc, up ici, c'est preposition. He looked up at the skyscraper. Le verbe ici, à l'infinitif, c'est to look. To look, et non pas to look up. Parce que là, up, c'est une préposition. Another example, un autre exemple. She looked up a word in her dictionary. She looked up a word in her dictionary. Donc ici, up, c'est particle. Donc, le verbe ici, à l'infinitif, c'est to look up. To look up, non pas to look. Le verbe ici, à l'infinitif, c'est to look up. Alors, using phrasal verbs. Many phrasal verbs and one word verbs have similar meanings. Many phrasal verbs and one word verbs have similar meanings. To wake up veut dire... To awaken, to wake up, égal, to awaken. To go on, veut dire, to continue. To go on, c'est, to continue. To take off, enlever, to take off, veut dire, to remove, to remove. Alors, phrasal verbs are less formal and more common in everyday speech. Now, transitive phrasal verbs. Transitive phrasal verbs have objects. Must transitive phrasal verbs are separable. Transitive phrasal verbs have objects. Must transitive phrasal verbs are separable. For example, he looked up his bus to tell him he had overslept. He looked up a bus 
to tell him he had overslept. Donc, the object, ici, il est là. Il est mis ici. The object. Et aussi, la même phrase, par contre, on place the object between, entre to cold et up. On dit, he called his boss up to tell him he had overslept. He called his boss up to tell him he had overslept. The object can come after the phrasal verb or between the verb and the particle. The object can come after the phrasal verb or between the verb and the particle. For example, at the last minute, the bride called off the wedding. At the last minute, the bride called off the wedding. Donc, le verbe ici, c'est to call off, to call off, qui veut dire annuler. The object is here. La même phrase, at the last minute, the bride called the wedding off. At the last minute, the bride called the wedding off. Et c'est juste. Donc, the object, the wedding, on peut le placer ici, ou bien entre to call, Cold et off, au centre. Alors, when the object is a pronoun, it must come between the verb and the particle. When the object is a pronoun, it must come between the verb and the particle. Alors, une phrase. On ne peut pas dire a friend called up her at work, ça se dit pas. A friend called up her at work. Non. Ce qui est juste, c'est cette phrase. Donc, her, c'est entre, au centre. On dit, a friend called her up at work. A friend called her up at work. Alors, liste des phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs, les plus utilisés en anglais. Liste des phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs, le sens, quelques exemples, avec la traduction en français, bien sûr. Break down, ce verbe, to break down, is a phrasal verb. Le sens, break down, veut dire tomber en panne, tomber en panne. Quelques exemples, cette phrase en anglais, après, en français. The car broke down after 10 minutes. The car broke down after 10 minutes. La voiture est tombée en panne après 10 minutes. Break up, to break up. Rompre, entre parenthèses, une relation amoureuse. John and Angelina broke up last week. John and Angelina broke up last week. John et Angelina ont rompu la semaine dernière. To bring up. Bring up. To bring up. Élever entre parenthèses un enfant. My aunt brought up her child alone. My aunt brought up her child alone. Ma tante a élevé son enfant seul. To call off. Call off. To call off. Annuler. They called off the meeting because the boss was ill. They called off the meeting because the boss was ill. Ils ont annulé la réunion parce que le patron était malade. Carry on, entre parenthèses, with. Carry on, with. Continuer. Carry on with your project. It looks promising. Carry on with your project. It looks promising. Poursuivez votre projet. Il a l'air prometteur. La suite. 
catch up with catch up with rattrape go ahead i'll catch up with you later go ahead i'll catch up with you later do without do without se passer de i can't do without a car i can't do without a car je ne peux pas me passer de voiture figure out to figure out c'est comprendre i couldn't figure out what his reasons were i couldn't figure out what his reasons were je n'arrivais pas à comprendre quelles étaient ses raisons find out find out find out découvrir I was relieved when I found out the truth. I was relieved when I found out the truth. J'ai été soulagé quand j'ai découvert la vérité. Get on with ou bien to get on with. Get on ou bien get on. Get on with. S'entendre avec. She doesn't get on with her new boss. She does get on with her new boss. Elle ne s'entend pas avec son nouveau patron. Get over. Get over. To get over. Get over. Surmonter. I still feel hurt, but I'll get over it. I still, I still feel hurt. But I'll get over it. Je me sens toujours blessé, mais je m'en remettrai. To give back. To give back. To give back. Rendre. He didn't give back the book he had borrowed. He didn't give back the book he had borrowed. Il n'a pas rendu le livre qu'il avait emprunté. To give back, déjà fait, c'est rendre. Maintenant, to give up, to give up, arrêter de faire quelque chose. I gave up smoking five years ago. I gave up smoking five years ago. J'ai arrêté de fumer il y a cinq ans. To grow up, to grow up, grandir. He grew up. In the Bronx. He grew up in the Bronx. Hang up. To hang up. Raccrocher. Please hang up or leave a message. Please hang up or leave a message. Hear from. To hear from. Avoir des nouvelles de quelqu'un. QN c'est quelqu'un. Exemple, I haven't heard from my sister for three months. I haven't heard from my sister for three months. To hear of, hear of, entendre parler de. Have you heard of what happened to Jane? Have you heard of what happened to Jane? To hold on, to hold on. Ne pas quitter au téléphone. Tel, c'est le téléphone. Ne pas quitter au téléphone. Hold on, please. I'll ask the boss. Hold on, please. I'll ask the boss. To keep on. To keep on. To keep on. Continuer. They will keep on fighting to the end. They will keep on fighting to the end. Lie down. Lie down. S'allonger. You should lie down. You look really tired. You should lie down. You look really tired. To look forward to. To look forward to. Attention. Look forward to qui veut dire attendre avec impatience. Toujours le verbe qu'on va Conjugué après ce phrasal verb doit être mis 
à la forme ING. Par exemple, We look forward to meeting you. We look forward to meeting you. Qui veut dire Nous attendons avec impatience de vous rencontrer. Donc, We look forward to, non pas Look forward to meet you. Attention, to, ça ne veut dire pas que après tu lira le verbe à l'infinitif. Par exemple, we look forward to meet you. Non, ça ne se dit pas. C'est faux. Ce qui est juste, c'est we look forward to meeting. Alors, à la fin, ing, you. We look forward to meeting you. To look up. Look up. Cherchez. Un mot, par exemple. Cherchez un mot, par exemple. Did you look it up in the dictionary? Did you look it up, look it up in the dictionary? Make out. Make out. Distinguer. Distinguer. I couldn't make out who was coming in the rain. I couldn't make out who was coming in the rain. Make up. Make-up. Inventer ou bien imaginer. He made up quite a story to skip school. He made up quite a story to skip school. Make-up for. Make-up for. Compenser ou bien rattraper. We'll make up for last time when we meet again. We make up for last time when we meet again. Pick up. To pick up. Passer prendre en voiture. We'll pick you up at the station. We'll pick you up at the station. Point out. Point out. Faire remarquer. He point out. I needed money for that. He pointed out I needed money for that. Put away. Put away. Put away. Ranger. Your room is in a mess. Could you put away your things? Your room is in a mess. Your room is in a mess. Could you put away your things? Put off. Put off, to put off, reporter. Too many people can't come. We'll have to put off the meeting. Too many people can't come. We'll have to put off the meeting. Ring up, to ring up, appeler au téléphone. I'll ring you up when we have arrived. I'll ring you up when we have arrived. Run away, run away, s'enfuir en courant. He ran away before they could catch him. He ran away before they could catch him. Show off, show off, se vanter ou bien frimer. He is always showing off with newcomers. He is always showing off with newcomers. Slow down, slow down, ralentir. The driver had to slow down because of the bad weather. The driver had to slow down because of the bad weather. Take after, take after, tenir de quelqu'un. She takes after her mother, she takes after her mother. Take off, take off, décoller, décoller. The plane took off at 4.30 p.m. The plane took off at 4.30 p.m. Ou bien, the plane took off at half past 4 p.m. Think over, think over, think over. Réfléchir. Think it over before making a decision. Think it over 
before making a decision. Turn off. Turn off. Attention, c'est turn off et non pas turn off. O de zev, c'est off. On prononce off. O un seul F, c'est of. Là, c'est deux F. Turn off, c'est éteindre. Turn off the light when you go out. Turn off the light when you go out. Turn on, turn on, turn on. Allumer. Turn on the TV, please. TV, c'est télévision. Turn on the TV, please. I would like to watch the news. I apostrophe D, c'est I would. I'd like, ou bien I would like. I'd like to watch the news. Turn on the TV, please. I would like to watch the news. Wake up. Wake up. Réveiller ou bien se réveiller. I'll wake you up at six. I'll, qui veut dire I will, I'll wake you up at six. Write down, write down, écrire ou bien prendre note de quelque chose, quelque chose. I write down your phone number. I'll, qui veut dire I will, I write down your phone number. Cours d'anglais. 